What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Daniel. In this video, I'm going to tell y'all why y'all need to get y'all some fresh air. First off, aside from what the media tells y'all, bruh, everybody knows that you need options to survive. But that's not all. Anything you need to survive is two different spectrums to it. Take food, for example. You need food to survive. There's bad food and then there's good food. You know, so anything you need to survive, you, you want to air towards the good side. When it comes to air, get you some fresh air, man. I don't care if it's cold outside, if it's hot outside. That AC air is not fresh air, bro. It's not fresh air inside the house. And let's talk about water. You need water to survive. So guess what? It's going to be a good side and a bad side to it. Get you some good water, man. I like the alkaline taste of smart water. I drink bottled water on occasion. But it's up to you to do your research on that because I can't tell you what water to drink. I'm just going to tell you what I like. You know, relationships. You need relationships with people. No matter what nobody tells you, dog. You're going to have relationships with people. It's a good side and a bad side. You want to elevate all your relationships. This is what I've been trying to do. Elevate everything in my life. That's why I went vegetarian. That's why I started playing sports. I started taking my health seriously. Well, really, it's a lifestyle now. But I started living naturally. What's natural? Because to be honest, that one... Like, immediate gratification, drunk food, um, clogged up air, all that's not natural, dog. Wearing a mask is not natural, dog. I'm doing what's natural, and people looking at me like, I'm crazy. I don't need meat, because that's not, like, that's natural, dog. It's bad for your body, bro. That dream I had with my grandfather, and I was so clear. To be honest, dog. One thing I try to do, I try to limit all my senses that I take in. By that, I mean, so you have five senses. You really have two senses they really use a lot. Of, we have five. You got touch, taste. You don't taste nothing, so let's just taste, take that off the thing. You have touch, taste, smell. You don't smell nothing, really. You don't smell much. Okay, let's smell and taste out of that's like cut that off, cut that off. So you have touch, see, and hear. You know, certain senses I don't like to be able to I don't like them manipulated. My seeing sense, I don't like that manipulated. I don't like watching TV movies, I don't like that manipulated. And really it's a fifth one, your brain. So we got your brain, which TV can manipulate your brain, seeing and your hearing. Okay. I don't mind headphones. I like listening to music. My hearing sense, you can't cut it off, bro. That's the thing about hearing. You can't not stop hearing, bro. You're going to always be hearing something. So it's like, I feel like it's the most used to being stimulated. Your eyes, not as much because your eyes are like... In life, a lot of images are flat. You know, they stay still. So it's not as used to being stimulated as your ears. Because, dog, you always hearing something, bro. Man. Sun ain't not today, so, you know, Gazer, Gazer ain't here. Ground to grounder ain't here. But, you know what I'm saying? Vibing, vibing. <laughs> Where I'm just, I'm just vibing out right now, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I have to go back to the Matrix, you know what I'm saying? And I got to go back to the Matrix like everybody else, dog. The Matrix is the mass society. Things that anytime you're incorporated in the masses, I call that the Matrix, dog. The Matrix is things that were here before you got here. Where the masses are going. That's what I call the Matrix. I made these videos for y'all because... I want to try to help as many people escape from the matrix as I can. Like, the internet world, the immediate gratification epidemic, you know, 
the group concept, nobody thinking for themselves, all that stuff. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, get people to realize, become aware. That's why I make these videos. I make them for two reasons. Every video I made on my channel is for two reasons. One, self-documentation. Two, to help people. The number one reason I make them is self-documentation. So if nobody watches my videos, I know I've documented my life. <laughs> you know? I want to leave something behind. You know, that's one of my goals. Leave something behind, man. <laughs> so some of these videos, they're going to be entertaining to you. But some of them are going to be so, like just self-documentation. I'm going to tell you an event in my life. And I'm going to try to break it down as, as much detail as I can. So that when I look back at it, I can relive the memory. That makes sense. So I'm going to try my hardest to make my memories as clear as I can for the video purposes. It's almost like writing. Writers, they try to make the book. You try to, they try to create an image in your head of a book. And I love that because it's the same thing as a video, except it takes out the aspect of you looking at me, which is when you look at me, naturally, when you're looking at me, you're not, what's it called? You're not um, using your sense of listening as much, unless you sit the phone down and you just listen. If you read it, you're taking it into your brain, using your brain sense and your listening sense, which is making it much more powerful. That's why everyone says read books, because it strengthens your brain and whatnot. This is what I say. I say, read more books than you do, play video games, watch more informational videos than you do TV, you know, because it's always a ratio. Entertainment, video, technology, it's all a ratio, dog. It's good, bad. Bad would be like TV, because, you know, TV is using... Too many of your senses, and you're not having to do nothing, bro. <laughs> it's using your sense of looking, okay? It's using your sense of thinking, and it's using your sense of hearing. That's three senses, dog. We have four. The only sense is not using your sense of touch. It's using every other sense, dog. So it's just, it's too immersive, dog. <laughs> and as you know, all drugs are are just things that immerse us into something else <laughs> in a negative way that's all a drug is something that can immerse us in a negative way into something else that's all i, I that's all i think of a drug is <laughs> we immerse your brain and your sense of touch in sight and taste it immerses all of that that's why it's so addicting dog that's why people out here get addicted to drugs because they want to leave this reality when life is meant to be experienced sober. I know a lot of people ain't going to want to hear that. Life is meant to be experienced sober. Sometimes I live my life and I'm like, dang, I'm flying through life, dog. You don't have to have much patience when you're in regular world because everything flies by. You do something consistently for a year, dog, it's going to be gone before you realize and the benefits are gonna be here. But you have to start though. The hardest part is always to start. Remember that. So you have to start. That's probably the hardest part to all of it. Because you're having to train your brain to do something for the first time, which is which is not easy at all. So if you ever thinking about starting something, just start it now, man. Make it a habit, dog. Making things a daily habit is very important because as your emotions fluctuate, as your energy level fluctuates, as what you're doing fluctuates, as what other people want for you to do fluctuates. If you have something that you got to do and you're going to do it, you know, that's very powerful, man. Because you do something every day, that's a good habit. It's going to help you, bro. I call it passive habits. No fat is a passive habit, dog. It's passively making my life better every single day. The more passive habits you have, the better your life will be. If you passively are grateful, that's an amazing passive habit. Are you passively are aware? Well, you can't really be passively aware. You have to make it a habit. 
and sort of do it, you know what I'm saying? You have to work on doing it, you know? But being a vegetarian, that's a passive habit, dog. The more passive habits you have, the better your life is going to become. Because these active habits, I hate to say it, man, but all of them ain't going to stick, dog. If you sell yourself to draw every day for three months, and then you have four passive, four active habits, one of them ain't going to make it, dog. You could try to make all of them make it, but because of the way life is set up, the more you narrow your focus down, the more successful you're going to be. So if you told yourself today, I have one goal, and that one goal is to run. Just a little bit, that's it. And I have no other goals. You're going to get that goal achieved. But if you add 10 goals for that one day, and you keep hammering yourself every day for three weeks, for one week, for two weeks, one goal going to drop. Maybe two going to drop. Depending on how disciplined you are, something going to drop, dog. Because you only have so much energy and discipline. Especially until you work on it. Until you work on your energy and discipline, I say limit it to one, man. Because I see myself having too many goals all the time. Like, I try to be good at drawing, power clean, and be good at track. I try to do it all at the same time. And then I tried to have a girlfriend. Bro, oh my God. I was like, bro, something had to go, bro. And you know what I'm saying? The, the, the girl had to go. I fucked up and she she left my life. I look at it as a blessing and a curse. It's double and, it's a double-sided sword. She left my life, so I got to focus on drawing. Try, I got to focus on other things more. Because you only have so much energy and time, dog, and discipline. Your brain has only so much space in it. You have so much energy, dog. So... If you have too many active goals, active, you know, things you're trying to do right now, cut it down to what you really want, bro. Because trust me, what you really want is what you're going to get if you focus on it. You focus on four things, you're not going to get all four things, bro. Focus on one to two things, dog. Right now, I'm having to figure out. Because, I, bro, I tried to be good at hurdling and the 200-meter dash. I got better at hurdling, but I didn't get better at the 200 Bro, you got to focus, dog. All I got to say is this, dog. Being sober makes you think in the future. It makes you think now, but in the future also because you understand that this present moment is gone before you realize it. That's why everybody's so far in the future. That, that's the problem with life, dog. Everybody's so far in the future, man. Like, bro, I understand... You know what I'm saying? To be completely immersed in the present moment is difficult. And it's something you got to work on. But being... But I understand this. Being immersed in the present moment is an amazing thing. Having plans for the future is an amazing thing. Both of those are great things. You have to understand that having a plan for the future, dog, can help you out a lot. It can help you stay focused, dog. When you immerse in the present moment, it's an amazing feeling. When you're having fun, when you in love, it's an amazing feeling. You feel me? Sometimes, you do have to look in the future. You have to set goals for your future self. Set standards. If you don't have standards for your future self, you might fall off. You don't have goals for your future self, you don't have any expectations. Where are you shooting for? Right now, why are you doing this? What, where are you trying to go? Why are you running right now? What, what is the point of this running? What's the point of you drawing? If you don't have the motivation and the clear goal, sometimes the road can get a little rocky, man. So you need to set goals for what you want to do. And minimize it to one to two goals a week. Well, one to two goals a day you got to do. Right now, my one goal a day is to run. And that's no questions asked, man. We running every day. No questions asked, dog. We not asking ourselves if we want to run. Only thing is, we going to listen to our body about the distance and the speed. But the, the, the concept of running, pumping your arms and moving at a pretty good pace, that ain't no question, dog. We running. Rain, sleet, shine, dog. Treadmill inside out, how we running? Ain't no question about that. 
you know, because we wanted to be great. I faced my biggest embarrassment when I lost the 200 meter dash that came in last place. The biggest embarrassment of the past year. At a home track me, I came in last place in a 200 meter dash. I mentioned it in my other video, but I got sidetracked. This video, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I lined up on the blocks. My old football coach was sitting behind me. He was helping to track me. He was gassing me up. Oh man, Dan, you waited all football season for this, man. You about to show out, you about to show out. <laughs> my homeboy behind me. Hey, yo, he pretty fast, bro. He, he, he good, bro. He nice, but he pretty quick. Dude beside me, he look quick, bro. He look good, but he look fast. He in first heat, yeah, he blazing. Run and take your mark. Get set. Pow! I get out hard. <laughs> I get in my float phase. I'm still going hard. I'm beside, dude beside me, he's a little bit in front of me, but I'm in second. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We pass 100 meters. We pass 100 meters. I'm going. I kick a little bit. Kick a little bit. I'm going, I'm going. I'm in second place. We get to 150. My body turned down, damn. Why you got us so hard? I see dude on my right pass me. Boom. I'm at 180. I see dude on my left pass me. Boom. I'm at, one, I'm at 190. I hear a girl say, Girl, you got this, did ya? I'm like, <sighs> Cross the finish line, get last place. Here it times, 25.4. Did PR and I came in last place in front of all my friends and family. People was cheering me on. I came in last place. People were supporting me and I was losing. I asked these people to come support me and I lost. I disgraced my family and I got to make it up to them. I got to make it up to myself, dog. I got to make it up to myself, dog. I wasn't giving my, I wasn't giving my all to it. And it showed, dog. I wasn't giving my all to the trainer, and it showed. When I died at the, at the end, it showed what I was giving my all to, and it wasn't training, dog. The fear of embarrassment, yes, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I understand emotions and vibrational emotions. Fear is not an emotion you want to feel. But I don't ever want to feel that feeling again, that embarrassment. The utter disappointment. I don't want to feel it ever again. People say fear means false events appearing real. This is real, dog. <laughs> that embarrassment I felt was real. That pain I felt was real. But man, I'm just going to tell y'all this on last note, man. It's cold out here. Keep grinding. I love y'all boys. Tell you like this, your body's gonna rest, bro. Don't worry about the rest, dog. Do not worry about your rest, dog. Your body's gonna rest when you need rest. When you dead, <laughs> when you dead, your body go rest. Good. All right, man. Peace out. Keep grinding. I love y'all, boys. No fat day twenty two.